Okay, Mr. LaFonce, a couple of days out from uh, the man weekend. Uh, and uh, first off, let's show, you want to show the uh, audience something. Okay, so this is what a bruise that's 10 days old looks like. That was from Banjo training in Jersey. Oh, it's just about dis dissipated. Uh, this is a broken finger from a few days ago uh, that Corey got me with a steel shield. Uh, he read my go around with the machete and he checked it with the steel shield. Mm. This was badly bruised in Jersey from 10 days ago and this bruise is totally healed up and the bone doesn't even hurt anymore. Uh, this thing right here, the brick mouse tried to smash my toe. He's a lefty and he's He's applying racquetball sports to stick fighting. Yeah. And uh. we both thought that he missed my toe because I pulled my leg back. But right. as you can see, he got, okay, he got hit. I also have a sprained ankle here from knife fighting with uh, Paul Bingham because I overdid a triangle step. These is from getting a, a wrist collar uh, uh, bind with... Uh, with back fist mech, oh. in which he tossed me. He was just going for position, but he got me so far out of position that instead of getting behind me in the boxing, uh, he threw me down. Uh, this, and this happens with le fighting left-handed guys. I'm right-handed. This is a straight vertical shot down from the brick mouse, who's slightly smaller than me. This is, this is a good slash. Mm. And then when you look at... How you, how you bruise up as a righty, fighting oh. left-handed guys. So yeah. this is, this is the brick mouse when, he's dissecting. This was a slash here. He did a wrist action slash on the inside here while I was doing a forehand, and I don't really do really wide forehands. Uh, this I think was me trying to roof block and him cutting inside of it, roof blocking when you're lefty and he's righty or vice versa, the southpaw orientation with the stick roof blocks don't work that good. And I was getting caught doing roof blocks when I should have been doing right, umbrella blocks. Right. Okay, so more of that. Now this is Damn. generally after I hit him, I was catching this, mm. okay? Or after he would beat my blow and I was, uh, uh, I was catching that. He put another one back here on me, I believe. Mm. And also, this is bruised right here. There's a stick. It, it's kind of faint, but he cut me right down here. So with a blade, uh, one or two of these would have been kills because he would have got my brachial artery. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then there's one. Uh, yeah, jam oh, box. There's, there's a jam box, but there's another bruise, I think, back there from the stick. Right. And right over here, I think this is a stab with uh with like a blunt dagger mm. okay but the the jam box i think that bruise is kind of going straight down uh again i hit him with a lateral his bruise was wrapped around behind his arm and underlined his tattoo yeah okay yeah. and at the very same time so you hear those two whipping sounds <laughs> We're both whipping each other, and he gets the well, best of it because he's like... taller, <laughs> and he's coming down. Yeah. Okay? And there's like when you're not a big muscled up guy, and you get hit vertical shots on your shoulder here. In other words, when you're a bone rack, I'm just a fat bone rack right now because I've got no muscle here. You like, got to be a fat bone rack. What, like Dennis. Dennis would have muscle up here to protect him. How many? Uh, that vertical shot, Sean knocked me out in stick fights in 2008. 16 with vertical shots i would hit him and he'd take it and then once i passed he would come right, right down here so you're uh, we were trading this is just what happens with the lefty and the righty when they're going at it with weapons so we'll do uh another video because sean wanted some uh tips on his footwork and some combinations uh, for fighting as a taller lefty and okay. I could go over that and it would also apply uh, to the brick mouse too. So we'll come back and do another one on that.